Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Today is Thursday, September 2nd, 2021, and we have 121 days left in the 2021 edition of the Game of Life. Miss Daisy is here with me, and look, she got a haircut. Damn you. Get a haircut? You did? You got a haircut? She got a haircut. Um, and today is my 23rd anniversary. So Tim and I have been married 23 years today. Oh, I should have brought down some uh, wedding pictures. I got married in a red dress, and yes, it was my first wedding. I just did what I wanted to do. We got married in Jamaica, and it was lots and lots of fun. When you hop on here this morning, please say good morning, where you're watching from, and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. Good morning, Marla. Good morning, Michelle from Carrollton, Georgia, having an IMF day. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate it. Thank you, Marla. Yes, we've been together 25 years, married 23, met at work, South Trust Mobile Services. We were both in the manufactured housing industry. Hey, Melanie, thank you. Melanie's having an IMF day. Thank you, Alicia, with another IMF day. Good morning, Colleen. Had a holiday yesterday, perfect day today. Thank you, Colleen from Michigan. And Amy from Ohio, having a perfect day. Thank you. And there's your friends, Bella and Bo. Do you see? She's like, no, I don't see. Um, good morning, Ron. Thank you. Ron's having a perfect day. Hey, Kathy from Michigan, having a perfect day. So glad y'all are on here with me this morning. I've got some networking to do this morning. I've got the Ackworth Business Association lunch midday, and then I've got networking again this afternoon. Hey, Tabitha, I am F day in Pennsylvania. Let's see. I want to see what we're... I'm going to go ahead and do what's going on in Planet Shibboleth today, do that a little bit early. Let's see. If you are near Kennesaw, please go see uh, Shibby Shop Sherry and Patricia for class at 10, 10 a.m., and then Dr. Jim is going to be doing How My Survival Kit, kit Helped Me Lose Weight at 6.30, and I've got the fast track at 7.30, and we'll be going over void replacements, extras, snacks, um, freebies, meal replacements, when I say that, like void replacements. Void replacements really are just any of these other things I'm saying. Freebies, extras, snacks, and meal replacements. So we're going to go over a lot of those tonight, things that you can use on the Shibboleth lifestyle. Um, so that's what's going on on Planet Shibboleth today. Good morning, Gina. I did? No way. I'll have to look at that. Gina's telling me that I won the battle again. Um, and it's a Cheryl, good morning. Having her third Tiger 16 day in a row in Clarksville, Georgia. Erica, good morning from Wichita. Having a perfect day today. Okay, I'll have to look at that, Gina. And when Diane pops on and watches this, Diane Malone, that'll show you that Let's see. The battle ended yesterday. Yeah, so it's two days later that the winter badge shows up. So y'all's badges might show up today, Diane. Okay? So yesterday, somebody on Facebook made a post about some cinnamon roll or something. And I wrote a comment that said, put that thing in a baggie and beat the crap out of it. Okay? We do not need to eat it. Do you know that when I see foods, yes, I still eat some unapproved foods every once in a while, but, um, <laughs> oh goodness, Gina. Um, yes, I, I eat some unapproved foods sometimes, but you know what? They never did do anything good for us. So they might have tasted good for a second. That's it. It's a second. That's it. Um, so I said I would put that, and I have. Y'all, I don't know if y'all remember last year, but I went to a luncheon and I brought home a cupcake that was really pretty. And I said, oh, look at this. We can enjoy this as a piece of artwork. We do not have to eat it. And then I put it in a baggie and smashed it up. Well, let me just tell you the story of this cookie. I just put this cookie in this baggie yesterday um, to show y'all what to do with these things. On Friday, I went to um, a, an event and at the event, it was kind of fun, the, this Chick-fil-A was giving away cookies and milk, but it was kind of a surprise, you know, it was kind of, everybody was sitting there, there was 150 people there, and we were all there at our tables, and the, um, the owner-manager of 
three Chick-fil-A's came up and he said, and now everybody's going to get warm cookies and milk. And it was like people came out and started serving warm cookies and milk. My heart leapt. Y'all ever have your heart leap over food? Let's have it leap over the Holy Spirit. But anyway, have you ever had that happen? My heart leapt. It was like, oh, and it was warm. They had it warming. And all these other tables around us got milk delivered to them. And I wasn't even going to drink the milk. I wasn't even going to drink the milk. But they forgot our table. And I'm like, where's my milk? <laughs> I wasn't even going to drink it. But anyway, so I thought, let me put this. Let me put this in my purse. And I can have it for a holiday. Or maybe somebody else at my house can eat it. And you know what? Why do I want to even give this to people in my home? I don't. I don't. Not on just a regular old day. So... Smells good too. I can smell it through this baggie. And so this is what you do with this kind of food that never did do us any favors at all. Believe me, throwing this away is not, you know how sometimes people feel like, oh, I can't throw away food because there's other people that don't have food. This didn't help anybody, even those people that don't have it. They don't need this either. So this is what you do with this food. You just, you just destroy it, okay? You just destroy it. Now it's breaking my little baggie, but... You say, you never did do anything for me. Why are you making my heart leap? Why? Why would you do that, you stupid cookie? And I like cookies, y'all. But, you know, just get rid of this stuff. This never helped us achieve anything. So, now I got cookie falling all over the floor. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what to do with that cookie. You do not have to eat it. Do not feel, I will release the obligation from you. Just say, say obligation release right now. Say obligation release. I do not need to eat things that are put in front of me just because they are put in front of me. It is my body and I will decide what to do with it because I have guidance from the Lord. Guidance from the Lord. All right. Thank you, Gina, for sharing. I appreciate that. Good morning, Diane and Kennesaw. Thank you for sharing. Did have a holiday yesterday, but I'm going to have a perfect day today. That's exactly what we know what to do. We get right back to business. So that's awesome, Diane. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I had a, a, a white chocolate macadamia one of those recently. Hey, Dawn, good morning. Having a wow day here in Kennesaw. Okay, so this morning when I started doing my Bible study, yes, guidance from the Lord. That's right. I pulled up the Word for You Today app, and it says, How to Solve Your Problems. I was like, okay. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things. I don't know if y'all have ever thought about this. Y'all know that cuss word that starts with holy, and then people will say the S word after it? That's blasphemy. It is just it is just Holy Spirit put into a cuss word. I think it's the same as saying GD. So, anyway, I just thought I'd give y'all that tip. Uh, Wanda, good morning. Perfect day in Dalton. Football season starts tonight. What a wonderful time of year. I saw your cute little profile picture change. That was adorable. Um, so the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. John 14, 26, if y'all want to type that in. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things. John 14, 26. Okay, so it says, first, listen. Listen to the Holy Spirit within you. So in the Bible study that I'm doing, it's all about discerning the voice of God. And part of that is actually listening and not always doing the talking. He will constantly remind you of God's plan and show you how to carry it out. He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. What has God's word instructed you to do? Have you done it yet? Obedience is the doorway to blessing. Let me read that again. Obedience is the doorway to blessing. Give me some hearts if you understand what I am meaning by saying that. When you obey, you get blessed. When you follow the lifestyle, you get results turn into blessings. Second, spend time with God in daily prayer. In the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. Okay, I like this next thing. I like it when they do little like lessons, kind of like a history little lesson. A pavilion was a secret chamber in the king's palace, and it was so well fortified that even if an enemy found it, they couldn't penetrate it. All hell could have been breaking loose, and it didn't make a difference. In the secret place, 
there was peace. Are you letting things that don't really matter overwhelm you? Are you upset over things that should be dismissed at trivialities, as trivialities? Get alone with God and let him restore your perspective. And I'm going to add, let's not use food. Third, never be too proud to seek advice and assistance. The Bible says those of us who are strong ought to bear the burdens of the weak. There are times when we need to lift others and times when we need to be lifted. Jesus healed a woman who had been bowed down by sickness for 18 years and in could no way raise herself. Sometimes you need help because you can't help yourself. David understood this and he turned to the men of Issachar because they had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. God has provided help. Reach for it. And then we'll recap that with obedience is the doorway to a blessing. I, When I read that this morning, I just thought it applied to us in so many different ways. We need to reach out for help when it is appropriate. We get to help others when it's appropriate. But never be too proud to seek advice and assistance. I, I'm telling you, sometimes people are so proud that they can't even accept that they don't know everything. There's a, it, pride actually gets a lot of people stuck where they are and they have a hard time getting out of it. Um, so it's, y'all heard me say many times, it's a humbling, a humbling. You have to humble yourself. And part of that humbling when you're starting Shibboleth is that you have to forget everything that you thought you knew about nutrition because you've picked up a piece here in a piece here, and a piece here, but those puzzle pieces don't fit together. So with Shibboleth though, Travis picked up a piece here, a piece here, a piece here, a piece here, and a piece here, and they do fit together. And he gets to share this lifestyle with us. It's the Lord's lifestyle. He's just stewarding it, and then we steward it with him. You're welcome, Janet. I love helping you, Janet. I love it. Okay, let's see. What else is going on here? Valerie Herman, thank you for being on the Bible study last night. At the end of that, I just, I, that's why I stood up and said, didn't y'all just want to clap spontaneously like y'all were at a movie? It was so good. Go dogs. Uh, Gina says, go dogs. And Wanda says, I'm one of the most loyal humans in the country since seven years old. Awesome. Awesome. Judy says, just watched your video from last night. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Polly. Still can't walk well from the fall in the bathtub and has a UTI. I'm so sorry. Home health coming out for therapy. I uh, hope, good. There's somebody coming over. I love that. Going to be better soon. Not doing well with Shibboleth. Trying for perfect day today. Premier protein drink for breakfast. Been eating what people are bringing to me. Oh, I gotcha. Listen, Polly, still portion control that, okay? portion control it. That'll help. Make sure you get your water in, okay? Give your some break between those meals. Even though it might not be in the right combinations, do all the pieces and parts that you can, okay? Don't give up on all of them just because the food isn't quite right because there's only one of them that has to do with food. And we'll be praying for you, Polly. Yes, thank y'all for praying for Polly. And she says, I've been needing help for the last week. Yes, I think they said that the Bible study was going to be released this morning. I, they, they've been kind of slow. Hey, there's my baby. Look, see right there where it says Julia Moncus. Happy birthday. I mean, happy anniversary, Mama. Look, look, who right there? Oh, look at the screen, Julia. There she is. There's my baby. She's wishing Tim and myself a happy 23rd anniversary on there, and I've got her on FaceTime right there. Thank you, Wanda. I appreciate it very, very much. So, um, we're going to hop off this morning, but y'all, please humble yourself. Forget everything that you thought you knew about nutrition. Don't feel like you have to know everything or you're stupid. See, some people feel like if they don't know everything, they've got a problem. You don't. You just need to ask, okay? So, so ask the questions that you need to ask. Follow the shield for those blessings, okay? Follow the shields for those blessings and spend time in God's Word listening to Him. Yes, Polly. 
Yeah, thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, everybody. Okay, we're gonna hop off here this morning, but please make sure that you go and you journal, you determine your day. And I know you got like 12 hours ahead of you or more, right? You gotta have that mindset set. And if you have to reset your mindset every hour, reset it every hour, okay? Do what you gotta do to get that perfect day in for those results. The more you get in, the easier they are. And if you have to beat the crap out of some food to get it out of your life, put it in the bag, you go out back and do it. And if you're watching on replay, type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you. All right. Y'all have a blessed day.